I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you the fragrances that I wore for the week and I was pleasantly surprised because I love them all. <laughs> it's been a while, like quite often lately I'm like, oh, I wasn't really crazy about this. This week I just loved everything. Like I smelled phenomenal all week so I can't wait to share. But before we get started, um, I just want to thank every person that is involved in this channel. So uh, there's my wonderful fragrance friends that supply me with amazing perfumes on a regular basis, like Lori, like Hesse. Uh, you know, I've met some really amazing people. So, you know, another one is uh, Janet from Germany. Uh, just love these women and they support the channel actually through, you know, giving me what they don't like or giving me samples or all sorts of things like that. So first of all, I so appreciate them. But beyond that, I so appreciate all of you. Uh, those that comment, watch faithfully, uh, you're just involved. And, and so I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for supporting this channel. And thank you for creating a wonderful community. I feel like we're growing into such a beautiful wonderful community of, of women that are diverse and like different things but can express that and it's just wonderful. So I feel so privileged to be a part of this. Uh, I, I don't look at it like, yes, I'm the one creating the content. Yes, I'm the one that's putting out videos, all of that kind of stuff, reviewing perfumes. Yes, I'm center stage. But I feel like this is our channel. Uh, I feel like this is something that we're growing together and I just want to say how thankful I am like like oh it's so embarrassing crying over something like this but I really am thankful for you guys like you are uh, just so wonderful you're positive so often like uh, you know life can be tough and uh, your comments are like so wonderful like so often I read them and I'll start laughing or uh, you know it makes my day somehow so I just want to say thank you thank you for supporting me personally uh, I hope that we continue to grow and we help support one another uh, even you know by more interaction in the comments uh, you know, it's been so neat getting to know those of you that do comment on a regular basis. Uh, like, it, you know, there's some quirky ones. There's like all ages, all different personalities. And uh, it's just literally, I, I love, like, I have loved getting to know you. And uh, I feel like I know you guys a bit because of the comments that you leave. So I just want to say that that doesn't go unnoticed uh, and that I appreciate the part that you play in this channel. Um, and yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I, I can't say enough. I just am so appreciative uh, to all of you. And uh, like I've said before, some of you aren't into commenting, but you do watch on a regular basis. Uh, you're part of this channel too. Uh, whatever role you take, I feel like it's our channel. And so thank you. Thank you for making this what it is. Thank you. Uh, for helping this grow and I just love the fact that we can have a community of people that are positive and want to support one another. The thing about diversity, uh, you know, when I think about a large group of people, uh, in particular women, because that's what the majority of my subscribers are, sometimes diversity can cause conflict. And I'm so grateful because uh, you guys are so respectful of one another. Uh, you know, we get to discuss something that we love together, uh, but we can respect differences. The thing that I love about diversity and uniqueness is that we can actually celebrate one another's strengths. You know, so often we end up focusing on weaknesses, but if we celebrate one another's strengths, like this one's quirky, this one has wisdom, this one's creative, this one's strategic, you know, all these different strengths, just imagine if a community can come, come together celebrating one another's strengths and building one another up. And actually, when we do that, we actually grow stronger together because we all have weaknesses. But being able to focus on our positive attributes and love one another is something that I really am into. I just want to say thank you to all of you. Um, and yeah, let's let's talk about this week. <laughs>
finally it started to get a little bit chilly. I don't know why I'm saying finally, because honestly, I would have loved a little bit more hot weather. However, uh, it's so weird because like even last week I was not into fall fragrances and then all of a sudden the weather starts to get a little bit crisper and I'm like just jonesing for all my amazing like fall type fragrances. So this week I pulled out a few of them and just absolutely enjoyed it. But one of the ones that I haven't worn very much in the summer because uh, I find it a little too sweet was Mon Guerlain um, by Guerlain. Um, I love this fragrance. I'm gonna love it till the day I die. The day I die, this one is gonna be part of my collection. It's sweet. Lots of people don't like it because there's lavender in it. Uh, lots of people love it because there's lavender in it and I happen to be one of those. Lavender just makes me happy. Lavender makes me think about being a mom, uh, which, which is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I love being a mom, like love it. Why am I so teary today? I'm I, like, I'm gonna ball through this whole video, I swear. But anyway, I love lavender. It reminds me of my mom and then it reminds me of being a mom. I find it relaxing, like so relaxing. This one's sweet. There's a little bit of powderiness to it. And when I put it on, it makes me feel feminine. It makes me feel pretty and it makes me feel relaxed. So Mon Guerlain, total hit. I'm in love. Another one I'll just briefly mention because I talk about it way too much is Scandal of Paris. Uh, this fragrance, it, like I, I just love it. It's, it's pear, it's jasmine, and it's honey. It's a little bit thick and sticky, uh, but the pear keeps it fresh. It's addictive. I'm addicted. Like I love this thing. I'm sad that I've like, I, I still have half left. What am I talking about? Anyway, um, it's, it's just delicious. This, even though I wore it in the summer and it works really well in the summer, uh, I'm going to definitely keep this out, uh, all year round because I just I have to have it near me. So love wearing this one lasts a decent amount of time. Like I can smell it for five, six hours. Projection is beautiful. It's sweet. It's sexy, a little bit saucy, but you can still wear it during the day. It's just a fun fragrance and I love it. Next fragrance I wore, and I think part of it is because I was talking about uh, the fragrances I crave recently. So I had to wear this one and it's Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Um, this, like I could not believe again, it, I'm always blown away every time I put it on. Like I love just sniffing it like this, but when I put it on, this thing lasts literally all day. Like I would say closer to 12 hours. Like I put it on in the morning and I'm not just talking it lasts on the skin because a lot of times, you know, you'll put on a perfume, but at about the eight hour mark, it starts to like you, you have to get in close. I was getting wafts of it, uh, till I went to bed that night. So I'd be doing something and all of a sudden I'd smell it in the air. So this one, the projection, like just just being able to smell it on the air when you have it on is amazing. Uh, it's, it's just refreshing. Um, I actually get that mint quality pretty much throughout the whole entire wear of the perfume. There's a slight powdery quality near the end, but that rose just lingers forever. Um, I just think this one's beautiful. It's so invigorating with that greenness, with the cannabis and the mint and just that green garden feel. Uh, but I love the fact that this is like a story and all of a sudden you're walking through that garden. It reminds me kind of of the Beauty and the Beast where just imagine you're walking through the garden and all of a sudden a path opens up and you see this beautiful rose just kind of almost like enchanted sitting there with some dew drops on it and you go over and sniff it. That's what this feels like. It feels like you're in this kind of green garden and all of a sudden this rose blooms and it opens up and then you smell all of it together. So I just really enjoy that. I enjoy when fragrances tell a story and this one definitely does. So love it. Uh, definitely still available. I'll have everything linked as usual, but anyway, this one's, this one's great. And honestly, like, even though this one's, uh, you know, I think of spring, summer, uh, this one is all year round. You could wear it. This could be a signature fragrance as far as I'm concerned. And it certainly is a very pleasant, not off putting in the slightest. However, you have to like green and you have to like rose. The next fragrance that I wore was Angel Nova by Mugler. Now this one, I was a little unsure of it because the, the it, 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 it's 
so strong. Like it's so, so freaking potent. I get this tart, uh, just mouth-watering raspberry. It's really quite strong. And then I get Aki Gala wood. I feel like it smells like there's a bit of rose in there. I don't remember if there is or not, but it smells almost as if there's a bit of rosiness to it. So it's a little jammy almost, uh, but then you get that Aki Gala wood or oud or however you want to look at it. So I was a little uh, on the fence about the wood component to this one. Uh, to, uh, the day I wore it, I absolutely loved it. So the cool thing about this fragrance, it, you start out with that, that sweet slash tart raspberry, very invigorating, very uplifting, but really kind of in your face. If you want to smell a little bit bold, a little bit out there, a little bit vivacious, this would be a great fragrance to choose. Now, uh, this one again, super long lasting. I could smell it pretty much all day like I just smell it on the air uh, and really really enjoyed what I was smelling so what people are getting is different than if you go up to it like this if I go up to it like this I definitely get a lot of that woodiness that said it it works with the raspberry and it's a like the raspberry is tart and strong the wood just kind of comes along it, it almost makes this unisex like honestly I can see a guy wearing this if they like fruity fragrances. I totally think a guy could pull this one off. Some people don't like it because of the woodiness. Uh, I'm liking it more and more, so I'm really glad I have this one in my collection. And this is the EDP. As you guys know, over the past little while, I'm like, something's different. Like, I, I'm not liking the same things that I liked. Uh, I'm disliking certain things. I'm liking other things. So. Uh, I decided to put on Angel Muse by Mugler. Now this one is the EDP and in the past I've put this on. I've gotten mainly patchouli in this one so everyone talks about it smelling like a Nutella, you know, chocolate hazelnut spread. I wasn't getting that. I was getting kind of more of a sweet uh, tea vibe from it which I, I enjoyed but it wasn't what everyone was smelling. Now last kind of winter near the end, all of a sudden things started to change and I was noticing that chocolate hazelnut a lot more in this. I would say I get more hazelnut. I don't think it smells like Nutella, um, but I do get that hazelnut with a little bit of like cacao, so almost like powdered chocolate with the hazelnut. Um, it, this has grapefruit in the opening, I think in pink, pink pepper. Uh, so there's a bit of tartness to it and then it just develops into this amazing, like sweet, uh, just uh, like delectable gourmand on your skin. So love it. Again, this one is so super long lasting. So put it on in the morning. And the same thing with the Angel Nova one, same thing with Flora Botanica. You put them on and they're on for the day. Like you couldn't put something with it, like unless you wanted to put something like cherry or something with this. Uh, you know, it's present enough that it's not like you can just spray a new perfume on and go for the evening. So um, I thoroughly enjoyed wearing this one, definitely getting more of that hazelnut cacao feel. Um, I, st I love the patchouli in it. It's comforting. It's cozy. It smells a little bit sexy. And I actually, like I wore this throughout the day and then it was starting to wane a bit, like I could still smell it. Uh, but I actually re-sprayed because I was so in love with myself that I absolutely had to just douse myself <laughs> in it for the evening. So loved this one. Uh, like I'm, I'm totally in love with this one right now. Like I've always liked it, but now I'm in love. <laughs> And that is it. That's what I wore for the week. I hope you don't mind me getting a little bit sappy. Uh, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. Um, the only other thing that I'll say is if you want to see this channel grow, uh, you know, share the videos, put your uh, like the notification bell on, do things like that so you can know when it's uploaded. And if we want to grow this community together, those are things that you can do. And of course, if you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I just really love you guys. I feel like it's a real privilege to be able to be doing this. I'm so glad that I did and I, I just have enjoyed 
getting to know you guys so much. So thank you. Uh, thank you. And yeah, have a great week. <laughs>